What is going on everybody and welcome back to another video and another FIFA 21 review. Now I've got the man himself, Burn Leno. As you guys know, I am an Arsenal fan. Without Leno, without Aubameyang, I feel like we would have literally had an even worse season than we had. Honestly, Leno literally saved our ass. Leno was incredible all season. Obviously, he then did get injured. Um, Emi Martinez came in, sold Emi Martinez, easy 20 mil. And then, uh, yeah, we brought Leno back, and he's playing absolutely exceptional. Touch wood. But today, boys, like I said, we have a Leno review. If you guys are new and you do want to help support the channel, you can do so by dropping a like and subscribing. It does help support the channel a lot. And, uh, yeah, it literally... I was so close to 3k, we're literally like 75 subs away from 3,000 subscribers. We're getting there boys, it's been a massive grind, but if you do want to help me out, that would be sick. Now, for the Kim Stoll, we automatically, we brought him when he had a cat applied. We have changed to, we change it to a wall. The reason being is because um, basic Kim Stoll's as FIFA are massively nerfed. Instead of giving plus 10 in every stat like they did last FIFA, basic Kim Stoll's on goalies only give plus 5. But he's coming in at 6 foot 3, which is very good. The main thing for a keeper, I look at their height, obviously their in-game stats, and their player traits. The player traits is a big reveal and the one that sells it for me. Um, but yeah, like I said, six foot three, a freestyle weak foot. It can come in handy when you do play out the back, which it is a lot of that throughout this video. The six foot three, a very good height to have. Like I said, um, basic Kim styles only give plus five in every stat now. They no longer give like plus 10 like they used to. So for this, we went with a wall, which we'll change in just a second. This is obviously all pre-recorded, but we do change it to a wall in just a second. Um, which puts him up to 99 diving, 88 handling, and like 90 kicking. His reflexes and positioning and speed stay the same, but that doesn't matter because his diving's literally 99. Uh, 88 handling, 99 diving, 90 kicking. Three absolutely incredible, incredible stats there. Like I said, um, with this cat himself, it's just not good. It, it only gives him like reflex boost, I believe. So we do change it to a wall, as you guys see now. But let me know down below while we're doing this. What team do you guys support? And uh, where do you reckon your team will finish in the league they're in? If you're a Premier League team, where do you think your Prem team will finish? Spanish League team, you get what I'm saying. But like I said, as you guys will see, a wall gives him plus... 14 diving, putting him to 99 diving, plus 5 handling, putting him to 88 handling, and plus 80 kicking, putting him to 90 kicking. 55 speed is actually relatively decent for a goalie as well. Lots of goalies tend to have between 45 to 55. Leno's on the higher end of that, which is always good. Um, but like I said, if it was a basic chem style, he'd only go to 90 diving, 9, uh, 88 handling, 85 kicking, 91 reflexes, 89 positioning. But instead, once it's had a massive nerf, we go with a wall, and he goes to 99, diving, 88, handling, 90 kicking, and stays the same with everything else, as I was saying before. Which for me, a wall, it's really just a chem style is a chem style. With a goalie, they're going to make mistakes. They're going to have great games, and in the next game, they could perform like literally a uh, keeper. You know what I mean? Um, and now the traits. This is a big thing that made this card look really good to me. Rushes out of a goal is a brilliant, brilliant trait to have. I'm not just saying that. It is a brilliant trait to have. Automatically pushes him out of goal, which is push, pre, pre, puts pressure on your opponent's attacker. Literally, it's a dream situation, and I honestly love that. I honestly love that. As you can see here as well, boys, uh, Richarlison with that stupid five-star weak foot. So annoying to play against. We go 1-0 down. Leno couldn't have done anything. No one's saving that. As you can see here, boys, uh, we go through. We get a penalty, and we're like, we're 3-1 up, right? Leno has had a quiet game. We're 3-1 up. He's literally, he's had nothing to do. He's passed it around the back at the beginning. So I'm like, you know what? We're free one up. I'm feeling ballsy. Let's put Leno on this penalty. All right, lads? All right. So, Leno, boom. A shit penalty, but we move. Leno puts in a shift and scores us a penalty, making it 4-1, 60 minutes in. From 1-0 down to 4-1 up and Leno scoring a goal. But this, the absolute banter, the absolute banter there. Not only is he a beast in net, but he is a beast on the penalty spot as well. Honestly, I don't know why I wanted to put him on it. I'm just like, you know, we're 3-1 up. Worst case, we draw this game, we'll lose this game. It is what it is. And look what happens again. Look what happens again. He gives away another penalty. If I put Leno on the, on the first time, 
hey, let's do it again. Don't worry, this whole video is not Leno scoring penalties. But this penalty was a freaking, that was a good penalty, you know. That was a good penalty. <laughs> so Leno scored a brace, okay? Which isn't, you don't buy a goalie to score braces. He's got 26 penalties. But hey... He's doing a shift. He's doing a shift. And as you can see, 76 minutes in. Uh, very, this is Jamie. This is Jamie. We bring Leno out. We're lucky not to concede. We're lucky we had Lodi on the line, I believe it was. So we got a get out of jail free card there. Um, but Leno's still rushing out of a goal, which is what his trait does. And as you can see again, we brought Leno out. He's rushing out of goal rapidly putting pressure on and it's just so good right rushing out of net is one of the best traits you can have for a keeper one thing that is really good with Leno as well is obviously his German links his Premier League links he's got a lot of links and as you saw as an example there his kicking was probably one of my highlights with him my kick for kicking was one of the highlights as you can see once again amazing lob pass over exactly where I wanted it his kicking and obviously as an Arsenal keeper he's probably going to have good passing he's probably going to have good kicking once again and absolutely phenomenal kick um sadly we do lose it just my opponent or my attacker wasn't tall, caught tall enough but the ball was where i wanted it so it's a win-win and as an arsenal attacker that's good uh as arsenal defender sorry arsenal goalkeepers should have good passing because arsenal if you guys watch arsenal or an arsenal fan like me we play out from the back we really do play out from the back and as you can see we bring Leno out that almost bites us in the ass lucky man like Sol Campbell is there to save us um but yeah we play out from the back Arsenal so we pass around with the goalies with the defenders build up place sometimes we play some absolutely phenomenal Arteta ball but um yeah so it makes sense for Leno to have great passing great kicking because that really is very realistic as you can see it goes 1-1 57 minutes in no keeper stopping that we start to bring Leno out 55 speed obviously maybe Maybe not for most, but it has worked out. We can just get a pass through to Leno. Good composure. And I feel like passing out from the back with Leno, you just feel comfortable. He's got, I don't know what his in-game passing stats are, um, but I can tell that it's very good. To, once again, that kick, it literally goes probably two-thirds of the pitch. He is honestly unreal kicking. So, in the final game, which this game I'll say is probably the best for clips-wise, because he pulled off a banging save in this match. This is probably the best team we face today. Valverde, Lorante, De Jong, Hermiso, and Diago Carlos. You guys can see it on the screen. It is a banging team. Um, but as I was saying, the kicking with Leno, the kicking Leno actually has is probably the highlight, to be honest. So, 32 minutes in, look at the save, boys. Sensational save. Sensational save. That was literally probably going to hit that shot, the top of the net. But no, Leno's there to save the day, and that's a mixture of diving and reflexes. Obviously, height comes into play there as well. A mixture of everything. I love it. He's so well-rounded. Obviously, as a goalie, they will be. But his kicking is sensational. Playing out from the back is sensational. As you saw in that clip, that diving and reflexes. That was more reflexes than anything because, obviously, diving, he just jumped up, quickly got tipped to it. Absolutely sensational. Now, I kept this in because this was a naughty goal. We run the whole pitch. Ball roll. Does the man. Dude, Salah is nuts. Salah is nuts. Somehow, we packed uh, prime Campbell or mid Campbell and Salah, first owner, in two 100k packs. If you guys want to see my uh, reaction to that, then that video will be on the channel. But as you can see, we end off the match fair with Leno. So as you can see on the screen, the pros and cons, I really did enjoy Leno. I really, really did enjoy using Leno. I couldn't find one thing wrong with him, but the main highlights we are going to, or the main stats we are going to highlight is his diving was sensational, his reflexes were great, his kicking was probably the biggest pro of them all, and his uh, his height was insane, but the biggest, biggest, biggest pro of them all is the coming out of the box, uh, rushing out of the net. It's literally, you can't ask for anything more than a keeper, it's a sensational trait to have. So Leno boys is a massive tick, I really do like him. As for the chem style, I am going to put under a wall, which is what I used, a brick wall, whatever the chem style is called. I'm pretty sure it's just called a wall. Obviously, that puts him to 99 diving, 88, uh, 88 throwing, or 88 handling, and 90 kicking. It really just makes this card absolutely incredible. He has got incredible reach, like I said, coming in at 6 foot 3. Also, 55 speed is relatively decent for a goalkeeper. As for cons, like I said, there's absolutely no cons at all with this card. Um, his lowest stat bar his uh, speed is probably his kicking which is kicking of 80 going to 90 with a wall was incredible for me but kicking and to come out of uh, rush out of goal really just 
ticked off his card even more for me. He was honestly nuts, boys. And without a doubt, obviously, I'm going to say he's worth it. He's an incredible card. Grateful links as well. That will also probably be under pro. You guys can see it on the screen. But the links he gets is sensational. He gets German links to Boateng, Sule. Uh, he gets Premier League links. Obviously, strong links to Arsenal defenders. Uh, which I don't think there's much, there's literally no usable Arsenal defenders. But he gets a lot of links, boys. Premier League, German League, he gets a lot of links. Strong link to Rudiger. So it is a very good card. Coming in at 10k, he is 100% worth it, like I said, boys. Anyway, lads, hopefully you guys did enjoy this review. And if you did, remember to drop a like and subscribe. It does help support the channel. Anyway, lads, this has been your boy Davis. And until next time, I'll see you later. Peace.